Hi y'all, welcome back. Yes, today I get to show you how to download 1,000 free brushes and it's all for free. So without much ado, let's jump right into this tutorial. So Photoshop Adobe has made it available for us to have 1,000 brushes. So to access it, you need to go on to their website to do that. But from Photoshop, you can also access the brushes. So you want to click on your brush and you want to click on the drop down options for your brushes. Click on any of your brushes, right click and say, get more brushes. Now this will take you directly to the place to download all the brushes. And I'm sure you're wondering how they got this. This is coming from Carl T. Webster. Now, Carl T. Webster is an American illustrator and also a designer who just wants to give out all his free brush settings. So to download it, you basically have to make sure that you log in and as you can see I am logged in so I have access to all of these brushes so to download you just click on the download icon for each of the different groups of brushes and you will have it in your download so if you go back to Photoshop how do you now install the brushes to install the brushes, you basically go back to your brush options and you want to this time go to your gear, which is at the very top right hand side, and then you click on it and then you click on import brushes. So what will happen is that you will have to go find where you have the brushes and then you can install. So in my case, I have it under my download. So all you have to do is double click on it once and once Photoshop reappears on your screen, it means that that particular brush setting has been downloaded into your Photoshop. So you can basically see that I have all the brushes here. If you don't have access to Adobe Photoshop, um, log in i will provide you a link for you to download all of the brushes that you see for free so that you too can enjoy the very thing carl t webster gave to all of us for free what if you want to create your own favorite brush library so that you don't have to go through all of these thousand brushes to get to what you want. So let's say I want to save this watercolor brush. You want to click on your library, click on the folder icon, which will create a new group for you. Now, what you want to do is let's say my brushes. I'm just going to name it that way for you, my brushes. And in order to drag and drop in your favorite brushes, you want to go, you want to make sure that first of all, you open up your brushes. So you click on this to open up all your brushes. If you don't see this, you need to go under window and then click on brushes. So it shows up right here for you. So once you have your brushes open, you also want to click back so you can see your library. Now, this is the group we just created. To add a favorite brush, all you have to do is click on the brush and drag it. So as you can see, I can just go ahead and add multiple of the ones that I liked in there. So that is basically it when it comes to creating your own favorite brush library. I'm going to collapse that and I'm going to collapse this. So guys, we are done. That is it. 
So I just wanted to show you guys that this is all available for you to use. So this brings us to the end of another short, but yet still very informative tutorial. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching and, and I will see you on Tuesday with a special tutorial. Oh, and guys, we are going to have another live session next week, Saturday. I'm going to put out a flyer so you can be reminded. So until next time, please be safe. Bye. Thank you.